What's up, y'all? So I'm going to show you how to get your crypto off of your crypto wallet and onto an exchange. For whatever reason it is, you want to take some money out just to get some money back in your bank account. You want to, for me, taking crypto off of my crypto wallet and putting it into an exchange, it allows me to, to trade and move my crypto around. Uh, at a cheaper price than it would be to just do it all through my crypto wallet on the Ethereum blockchain because the gas prices and transaction fees are just, you know what I mean? It makes more sense to try to minimize that. So this is how you get, you know, if you have a coin that's on the exchange that you use, this is how you get that coin onto the exchange real quick. All right. So for me, I want to get this $14 plus of AMP, this AMP coin. It's a cryptocurrency that's inside of my crypto wallet. I want to get it out of my crypto wallet and put it onto my exchange wallet. All right. And when I say exchange wallet, just think of a platform you'd go and buy stocks from the stock market on. It's basically the same thing in exchange you'd go and buy cryptocurrency on. And so not to complicate it, say you sign up for Coinbase.com because there's a few different options. You know what I mean? Crypto.com, blah, blah, blah. A few different options. Whatever you decide to sign up to, uh, let's say you do Coinbase. You're going to come into your coinbase account and you're going to go to send and receive all right and so it's going to pop this up right here we're going to go ahead and click receive because i want to bring it in from my crypto wallet and so we want to change it from bitcoin we're going to search up amp and there it is this exchange trades amp so we can go ahead and send it over here i got the address right here we're going to go ahead and copy that and then from there we're going to go up to our metamask that we installed i made a video on creating a metamask wallet in crypto wallets so if you haven't seen that maybe go check that first and then come back to this part but say you already watched that you created a wallet you got a metamask we're coming over to metamask now and what we're going to do is come down to this amp coin so you select it and we're going to click send right here and again, we should have the address copied from right here. This is the address I want to send it to. This is my wallet, my address. Uh, so if you have some A&P, go ahead and send it to that right there. Imagine. Uh, so we enter the address and there it is. It, it, if it's wrong or you know what I mean? You have a, a wrong address, an invalid one, it would show red most likely. And you would have to figure out what happened. So got the green check, valid address. And now we're going to go ahead and select max because I want to send all $14 over. And so, you know what I mean? Now I run into a problem. So I'm not going to be able to do this right now because I'm going to show you all. Look, at this is what I'm talking about. Transacting on Ethereum and the gas fees. So if you look down right here, estimated gas fee for this transaction is going to cost $9.86. And the possible max fee is showing right here twelve dollars and 42 cents now and so i'm trying to send over fourteen dollars and seventy cents but if it's gonna take you know what i mean 80 to 90 percent of my money is it worth it am i trying to get two dollars in my exchange from you know having fourteen dollars right here uh i'm not gonna take that loss so i'm gonna stop it right here but basically you know what I mean? Say I had $140 of AMP and it was only going to charge me, you know what I mean? A few bucks for gas. Let's say I click next. Cool. The, the transaction is going to start going through and it's going to tell me, you know, it's processing, it's complete. And then I would come back over here and I'd be able to check my AMP and my assets and it would show up right there. And so that's how you would get your money from your crypto wallet onto an exchange. But you can see the Ethereum gas prices are nuts right now. And I don't want to lose 90% of that $14. So that's the video. I'll see you on the next one.